Welcome to That'sCoolWire.com. This video is going to be a strength testing video. We are actually down on the floor here. We have five pounds of weight. So these are both uh, two and a half pounds each. So there's five pounds of weight, which means we're going to put five pounds of pressure on all the connection points. Again, this is 2.6 millimeter eel wire using the new Easy Snap connector. And this one has these, uh, the older uh, solder connection. So sometimes the question comes up, is the new Easy Snap connector as strong as a solder connection? The answer to that is yes, but there's so many more advantages of using the Easy Snap connector because if something does go wrong out in the field, if something does break or give when it's pulled on, you can open up the Easy Snap connector, do your repairs, close it again, and you're back up and running again. If you're out in the field and you break the solder connection, something pulls or gives, you can't repair it because you don't have the soldering iron all the tools there so anyway in this little this video we're just going to show you now we're going to take an inverter connection we're going to take the little connector here that's designed to kind of give if there's too much weight we're just going to snap it this is the solder connection so we're just going to lift it up and again this is five pounds so what you can see gave is the actual little plastic connector that the inverter plugs into, which is a safety valve, which it, which it did what it's supposed to do. We're going to do the same thing with the Easy Snap connector. We're going to lift it up. And this one's holding, and the same thing happened again. So this little uh, relief valve or this little connector here did its job by letting, letting go. So now we're going to not use the inverter, and we're going to go ahead and lift up to five pounds just by the lead wire to see what gives. So this is the 2.6 with the solder connection. As you can see, it's off the ground. Oh, and what actually happened here was the eel wire actually pulled out of the solder joint. We've run many tests and out of about, let's say, 100 tests, this really has only happened two, three times. So, but anyway, that just demonstrated what happened. We're going to now take the easy snap connector. We're going to grab it by the lead wire lift the weight up off the ground and you can see the five pounds is off the ground and everything is being held so as you can see the easy snap connector is just as strong and in some cases could be stronger but the big advantage again is you can open this up if something did come apart and put it back together again and close it and you're back up and running in this strength test we are now going to show you what we recommend doing for the 2.2 millimeter EL wire and also the 1.4. The reason I say 2.2 and 1.4 is both of those wires have the exact same size diameter center core wire. If, if you're going to be in an environment where there's not a lot of pulling going, to, going on, it's going to be more of just a stationary application, then we just recommend that you put the center core wire through the first V. But if you think you're going to get a little bit aggressive with the wire, then we recommend that you strip the wire a little bit longer and put them through both Vs. And what that's going to do is give you extra strength. So if you put it through the first single V, all you really have to do is once you line up the small hair thin wires is close the connector. But if you know you're going to be a little bit aggressive with it, put them through both Vs. And since there's a wire here already, which is the connector wire, the connector, when it closes, pushes down on this, but since there's an extra wire underneath, we just have to give it a little bit extra push right now. So I'm going to recommend that you just grab a little tool, either needle nose pliers or something, and push that wire down. And by going through both Vs, all that really is saying is that you have now two grip points. This one now is gripping the center core wire, and this one is now gripping the center core wire, which is going to give you the maximum strength. So we pushed it down, and now that um, that's done, we just heard the snap, the, the connector is closed now. So now we're going to show you the strength of the 2.2 millimeter EL wire. Now we're back down on the ground to show you the strength test that we did with the 2.6, but this is now the 2.2 using the easy snap connector and the solder connector. So we're not even going to go ahead and show you the um, inverter connection because we know that what happens is this is going to pull out. So we're going to go right to the strength test. 
And we're going to start off with the easy snap connector. We're going to grab it by the lead wire, which is right here. And we're going to lift up the five pound weight. And you can see that there's no problem at all. And we're going to do the same thing with the solder connection. Grab it by the lead wire, lift it up, and you can see that it's lifting up and holding and there's no problem at all. Again, the advantage is if something did break with the easy snap connector, you literally just open it up, do the repair, close it, and you're done. The last strength test I want to show you is I'm going to call the snap test, something that we're just going to grab the lead wire and I'm going to yank it up as hard as I can and we're going to see what gives between the easy snap connector and the solder connection. So we will start off with the solder connection. I'm just going to do this and I'm going to just yank this up as hard as I can. One, two, three. So what gave there was the EL wire popped out. And this again is the solder connection. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the easy snap connector. One, two, three. What actually gave with this one was the connector. Very easy fix. All we need to do is open this up, place these two connectors back in the V, close it, and you're back up and running again. Thanks for watching this video and please visit us at thatscoolwire.com.